Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and we're gonna start adding some textures to our syringe here, our vintage syringe. Uh, first off, let's go ahead and make this needle a little bit bigger. Let's press tab to go into edit mode, select all, press S, and shift X here, yeah, just scale it up right about there, and then we'll just take this here, box like this, press control plus a couple times, and do the same here, shift X. It's right about there, and then we can just ex uh, exclude this portion here, and then S Shift X. That's fine. Uh, uh, before we do anything else, let's go and hide this glass portion here, and let's go ahead and give this piece that metal texture. Okay. So now let's select one of these pieces, and let's start working on our textures. But uh, before we do that, let's go over here to our render tab, and let's turn display to the image editor because that seems to get uh, make a uh, blender crash the least when you uh, try and render it so first things first let's turn our intensity all the way up and then let's turn all of these values to 0 0.208 that seems to be a really nice uh, darkish gray color that works nice for this so just 0 0.208 I could have just uh, uh, copied all that but it doesn't really matter so for the specular Go ahead and turn this up quite a bit, and then the hardness will turn up pretty high as well. All the way up. Uh, not that high. Okay, so another thing. We want to turn on tangent shading so we can get this kind of cool metal effect here. Let's go ahead and turn emit on to 0 0.05, just a small, small, small value. Okay. Now another thing we want on is to turn on mirror, and this is like ray uh, ray mirror. So reflectivity, let's go ahead and try, try 0 0.3. That's okay. And then we'll turn up the Fresnel. Turn the reflectivity up a little more, and then the Fresnel up some more. Uh, right about there seems good. Um, let's see what other options we have. Okay, that's fine. So let's go ahead and give it this a test render. Uh, let's make sure this is okay. Let's turn this to 75 here, just so we can have a bigger image. And now let's set up our camera. So let's go ahead and press 7 on our numpad, and then press 2 a few times to get a, a different kind of view than just just top view. And then we're going to press Control Alt Zero on our numpad so we can bring the camera to our viewpoint. We'll fit the image here. Now let's worry about our shading. First off, uh, we have a uh, our normals inverted here, so let's select all and press Control N. We get that there. So let's go ahead and set up uh, our lights here. So first things first, let's go ahead and turn this to spot, uh, and then we'll turn this to inverse linear since we get a kind of brighter texture there. And uh, we want to also turn on, turn the size down a little bit. Maybe uh, turn the halo up. Oh, sorry about that noise in the background. My uh, I have a bathroom in my room, and uh, it makes that weird noise sometimes. Yeah, it's already over. Okay, so also we want to turn on show cone so we can see exactly what's being affected by the light, and that's a new feature in uh, in Blender 2.5, and it's a great feature. It's really useful for seeing where everything's going to be. Um, let's go ahead and change the size a little bit. Yeah, that's better. It's more of a spot now, and then we'll put it right about there. Press Shift D. Uh, turn around. On the top view here, and turn it like so. Um, let's go ahead and add one more light here, and we'll just make this a, a point light. Put it right there. Uh, inverse linear, okay. Let's go ahead and make this a sphere, and then scale it down. Or we, I think we have to turn the size down. The uh, ah, anyway. Let's turn the energy down to like 0.4 or so. And let's go ahead and give it a, a, a test render. So let's go into our camera view here, and we'll press F12. And we'll see what we're dealing with here. Okay, so we've got a kind of cool, shiny metal texture going on here. We can uh, refine it some more. Let's go over here to our textures here. Let's see. Uh, we can turn this color maybe a little bit darker. See how that looks. 
I don't think we changed it that much. Well, a little bit. That's better. Um, we don't want any translucency. Maybe turn the hardness up a little bit. And the spec up a little bit, like so. Do another test render. Yeah, that looks chromey. Looks nice. Maybe turn it a little, turn up the light intensity there. Uh, okay, so let's just leave that there for now. So now we'll give this a new texture here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, just move this over here for now. Uh, hmm. Let's see if we can add a texture to uh, or a material to this. Hmm. For some reason, uh, when I go over here, it won't. Ah, there we go. Here we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and add a new one. Material glass. Okay, so let's go over here to transparency. Let's go ahead and turn the alpha down pretty far. We want to turn on ray trace as well. And we also want to put on, um, turn, change the IOR. Let's say to 0.2. See how that looks. We can go ahead and bring the transparency up all the way up here. Mess around the settings. You want to put the alpha pretty far down and put the IOR so that it changes what's inside a little bit. Turn the filter up a little bit. And we can go ahead and uh, give that a test render. Okay, so, um, it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, hide this real quick. Let's give this a new texture here. Uh, let's go ahead and call this fluid. Okay, and then we'll unhide that again. Try it out. Okay, so the glass is looking, it's looking okay. We'll just continue to work on it, maybe add some depth, some more depth to it. Uh, that IOR is too high. 0.5 seems to be about good. I want to add some, uh, some more specular here, make this a little harder so it looks more like glass. Okay. Uh, let's just go ahead and turn this as much as we can up so we get that effect better. Let's see, gloss. Let's see what that does. Oh, that gives it a weird texture. Hmm. Let's put this at the edge and see what it does. Let's see, it might give it a cool effect. A little bit. Let's go ahead and change this fluid texture here. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this to a blue. Okay. Let's try it out. It's all about trial and error here. For some reason, it's not showing our um, fluid through the glass, so we need to investigate that a little bit. Oops, sorry. I wonder why. Let's try hiding this here. Uh, just move it to a different layer for now, so we can see what's going on. Hmm, that's very strange. Okay, so let's just control Z that since this isn't the problem here. Well, let's try putting a little bit of transparency to it, so maybe that'll fix it. But anyway, let's just focus on refining the materials more and then we'll worry about that in the next part. So, um, yeah, I think that's good enough for this part. So. Thanks for watching this fifth part, and I think we only need about uh, one or two more parts, and we'll probably be done. So, alright guys, thanks for watching this part, and be sure to watch the next parts. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.